everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I thought I'd take you through this hot weather summer makeup look. It is currently 34 degrees here in the UK, which is baking for us. It's a heat wave, hot. So this is what I've been doing for my makeup every day and a few new bits that I can't wait to show you. So if you want to see how I created this glowing, fresh, easy summer look, carry on watching. Right, so I've, I've bitten the bullet and I've gone and got the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I am so late on the bandwagon for this. I just couldn't bring myself to get it. I was like, oh no, you know. But when it's hot and you want extra SPF, this is really good. And I'm surprised how much I like this. I've got the shade medium and I typically do a pump and I dot it all over. It's got a really um, light, lemon lemony fragrance i do one pump for my whole for my face there and then i do a little bit more for my forehead this i've really been enjoying this because you know those days where you're kind of like it's too hot you're not really planning on wearing a lot of makeup so you don't really i feel like if i'm wearing full coverage foundation i need to do the rest of my makeup but on days where i'm just going to be not doing a lot then this is really really good and it's got a decent amount of coverage and you've got the added SPF 50. So it just it gives a really nice glow to skin it looks natural say you're having a pool day or you're going to the beach or a hike and you don't really want a lot on this is really good I can't believe I waited so long actually I got it because it was 15% off on cult beauty and I was like right there's my chance to get it I wanted to try it for so long but do you see how it just gives a really nice glow to skin I think it's just really nice and it really wears very well during the day but I'll show you what I do um, how I set it and how it lasts really well but this is just perfect you want to go for a walk take the dog out Put something on so you've got something on your face, you know, extra added layer of protection. And this is, I mean, look at that. It's not bad, is it? Really nice. It's really refreshing to put on. I've tried it with fingers. I've tried it with a brush, um, but I prefer it with a sponge because I don't want to disrupt my SPF underneath by dragging with fingers and brushes. Whereas this, I just feel like I'm pouncing it on. So. For summer, this is absolutely brilliant. No day makeup, no makeup, no whatever. No makeup, makeup days, perfect for that. Then I picked up an old favorite. Oh, my sponge. Oh God. I picked up an old favorite, which I just squeezed open with the lid. The um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder, whatever it's called. I used to love this. I've got this in the shade Warm Light. Um, this was my go-to concealer back in the day. Um, and I just fancy trying it again. I am a concealer freak. I think I used to use the shade Light. This is the shade Warm Light. But I just remember it being just such a nice creamy concealer um, that didn't crease because I've got the Maybelline Fit Me but I find that creases so you know horses for courses that just gives a really nice bright under eye yeah actually I think this is a really good colour um, the consistency of it is really nice. So that's that bit of concealer. Now, this is what I think works really well with the ITZY CC Cream. Bare Minerals Original. Now, if you've not got on with Bare Minerals before, try it over this. It, the results are phenomenal and it lasts all day and you're getting extra SPF protection. So I like to just use a fluffy brush like this. I've got the shade Medium Beige and I'll pop a bit in my lid, buff that in, 
and I just kind of pat it on first rather than rub and it just helps to set the CC which is quite dewy and once I put I can kind of buff in really gently so once I've put the majority of that on I just buff it all over and honestly I'm in front of the window here so there's no um, ring light or anything you just get a really nice skin finish it's light and it keeps your makeup on all day then I've been now when I wear this when I wear my no makeup makeup look I love the Estee Lauder bronze goddess bronzer I don't know why I just think it's a really nice bronzer um, and it seems to work well with this kind of look so I'm just going to take a small brush like this and add a bit of bronzer on always on the nose there I like to go in my eye socket like that and then blush is the NARS Orgasm which I also love because it's just quite peachy and it looks really nice with this kind of look and I kind of pat that on like so I even put that in the eyelids because that's going to be your eyeshadow you're not going to be bothering with eyeshadow here oh and the other new thing because I said new things didn't I so the new thing that I was trying is the It CC but I've also been using the Murad Environmental Shield Vitamin C Dark Circle Corrector this eye cream is amazing it is just unreal it just really helps brighten the under eyes I think this is amazing I put it on um, in the morning and I just put it all around my eye it doesn't get into my eyes it doesn't sting my eyes sometimes throughout the day everything starts to get a bit greasy and seepy but this doesn't and it's lovely and it's got that kind of like light orange shade so it kind of because you can see that it's got vitamin C there and it just brightens your under eye area. So if you've got kind of dark circles or you're feeling a bit tired, this is gonna give you lovely bright under eyes. Obsessed with it. I look forward to using it every morning. So that's the complexion done. That's all I do with that. I keep forgetting half my stuff. The brows, on. I just brush through a bit of Gimme Brow by Benefit just to kind of tidy up the brows and put some colour back into them. This is brilliant for when you just want to get something on your face. Love that. And then mascara, I'm just using my Strength and Length by Bare Minerals. I just love this. It's such a nice mascara, you know. I just brush that through my lashes. I also find it's easy to remove as well. So look at that, it just gives really nice, natural, fluttery lashes. Believe it or not, it's a heat wave here in the UK. It is absolutely baking. I think I've had a migraine for like two days now because it's just too hot and you know or maybe you don't know. We don't have air conditioning here because it doesn't usually get that hot. But it is El Scorchio. Even at like eight in the morning, I went for a walk this morning at seven. I mean, it was boiling. Absolutely boiling. I don't mind this kind of weather if you live by the beach, <laughs> you know? But when it's too hot to the point where you can't go outdoors, then that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Because you get stuck in doors and then you just get heat stroke. And a heat rash, I've got a heat rash. Mm. Okay, now, oh, lips. So that's it, that's for that's what I do for eyes. Really basic, bit of bronzer in. You know, because who can be bothered to do anything else at the moment? Then for lips, I'm using Lip Cheat, Charlotte Tilbury and Pink Venus. I can't not have lip, lip liner. And then I top off with 
my Suntegrity Sunscreen Lip Gloss in the shade, oh, I can't remember what that was now. Oh, Summer Fling. This has got an SPF of 25, I think. Just like that. Love that. And that is it. That is my makeup for hot weather. It just, you feel like you don't have anything on, but you've got something on because I don't want to be bare face, thanks. Um, it's got your SPF in it. It's glowy, it's shiny. Um, and I think the dog wants to come in. And um, it's perfect for summer. So there we have it. Summer makeup and new bits. Hope you're well. Chat to you soon. Bye.